One of the biggest questions I always get is how do you begin? I have this little tool that I use which is called the eight P's of losing weight and getting healthier. The first one is to plan. Plan, plan, plan. This means scheduling your workouts, this means scheduling your meals, this means getting up earlier than you were to just to get your workouts in. You need to find the time to basically get in the proper nutrition and make sure you're working out the proper way. Secondly, you also need to make sure that you know what you're doing. If you're gonna go to the gym for the first time, go online, get those resources, get that knowledge that you need to know what program you should be doing and at the same time what food you should be eating. It's really simple. There are three things I love to do when it comes to planning. First, on Sunday, what I do is I look at the week, I plot out all my workouts, I plot out everything I'm gonna eat and I make sure to do it every day. Every morning, I will have my coffee, do whatever I have to do in the bathroom and then I'll weigh myself on a scale and I'll write down my starting weight for the day onto my scale just so that I can track it and see that every day, whether my weight's going up or down, depending on the food that I'm making. Third thing I like to do is use an app like MyFitnessPal just to track my meals and see whether or not I am within the calorie range I should be consuming just to make sure that I'm spending more calories than I'm actually taking in. The second P is patience. You just need to make sure that you know that this is gonna take time. This is why this program was designed over 90 days. We don't think we can make you thin in a week. These things take a lot of time. It's not instantaneous. It's something that you need to be ready for. It's something that you need to mentally be ready for. Trust yourself that you've done the proper preparation and you know what you're doing and you're gonna lose weight gradually and get fitter gradually. Number three is productivity you need to be constantly moving. And this is not only in terms of getting fitter or weight loss, but in everything in life. You need to make yourself smarter. You need to pick up a book. You need to get knowledge. You need to go online. It's not enough going online, putting a post on Facebook and asking people how to lose weight or just declaring that you're gonna lose weight. You just need to sift through it and find what works for you. Number four, people. It is always so much easier if you have a support group. This is really important. In this program, we're actually working with Coach Arnold and Nadine, who's a nutritionist, and Mon is really gonna be surrounded by people who are really gonna care for him and make sure he's going in the right direction. You look at your household. Is your father healthy? Is your mom healthy? Are there any medical issues that you think through a change in food and diet you could actually fix? If yes, then be that voice of change. Sometimes it's really hard, but trust me, it's always worth it. Number five personal motivation. This is probably one of my favorites. You are the only one, I always say this, you are the only one standing between yourself and your goals. Yes, people are thrown different curveballs by life, people are in different situations, people have different work, people have different schedules, but at the end of the day, be truthful to yourself. How can you really dedicate your life to not only being productive at work and successful at work and having friends and a great love life, but how can you make yourself feel better? Every morning you wake up, you tell yourself you can do this. Every morning you wake up, you look at yourself shirtless and you're like, all right, maybe I don't look as great as I want to yet, but it's gonna come. You are the person that can really be your own cheerleader because at times you're gonna wanna quit. The sacrifices can be a little too much. You won't go out as much. You won't be drinking alcohol. If you're looking at that piece of cake and you're telling yourself, damn, I really wanna eat that piece of cake, don't eat it. It's really as simple as that. At the end of the day, it comes down to you. Six, perseverance. In the event you fail, and you will fail, you will cheat at some point, and you will have to start from scratch and from zero. If you fail, understand your failure. A lot of people say failure is the best education you can get. Yes and no. Failure is only educational if you let it teach you something. I know a lot of people that fail and just keep doing the same mistakes over and over again. If you fail, learn from it. Understand what you did wrong and how you can move forward from it and not do those same mistakes again. Number seven, perspiration. This is gonna suck. Sometimes I feel like I'm so tired, all I wanna do is sleep, have a couple shots of whiskey and just call it a night. It sucks, but you need to work through it. You need to understand that this is part of the process and at the end of the day, you will get to a goal and you will be happy where you've brought yourself. Nothing in life comes easy. I know that is like the, that is the corniest thing I could have said and I said it because it's true. You have to work for what you want and at the end of the day, if you need to kind of bleed for it, if you need to perspire for it, then so be it. Number eight. Progress. It's really important to track your progress, and this is what I tell everyone. 
Make sure you take pictures every day. Make sure you're writing down your weight. Make sure you know your stats when you're lifting weights because as you go along, you'll need to increase the intensity of the things that you're doing. And you'll understand that eventually, as you get closer to your goal, it's gonna get harder simply because something like too much sodium will affect you and you'll get bloated because your body has become such a clean machine. So it's really important to track everything and make sure that you're progressing in the best way as possible. My favorite thing is after I reach a goal, I like to look back at day one and see what I look like and compare it. It just makes you feel so much better about yourself. So there guys, that was basically it. But at the end of the day, it is just so good. It makes you feel so good. I just worked out now and my endorphins are really high and I'm really happy and energetic and I'm about to attack some work and I know I'm gonna get through it simply because I've done what I needed to do. I've done my workout, I've eaten properly, everything's planned, I don't have to stress out about too much or anything that will kind of just like make me wanna pig out or just lie down and sleep. Leave me a comment obviously below if you wanna say anything, if you think I'm terrible, if you think I could do something better, or if you guys just feel like sharing something, leave a comment below. I always read all the comments. I might not always reply, but I am reading them. So thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.